In the second video, I'll go through the extended channel parameters and we start off with the mix here and we will go to our edit page again and we'll go into our patching section. The patching section is quite valuable because you can have any input, physical input, USB-A, which is a USB stick, USB door, which is your connection, your USB-B connection to your computer. So right now I'm on channel one and input one. So that means the physical input on the front of the UI24, input one is going to channel one. I can select any input to go to input one. And this gives me the ability to route channels to the Digitech processor, for example, as well. I can select any input from USB-A or any input from USB door. You can also have one input, one physical input going to multiple channels so you can split the sound. For example, you might want to have one channel for when a uh, vocalist is male, female, or you might be clicking between using a harmonica and a vocal. So you can have two setups of EQ. You might want to have different equalization on the uh, monitors than you have on the front of house. So you can do things like that as well. It's very, very flexible from that point of view and very easy to see. You also have an overview button here, which takes you to a complete overview of all the patching. So as you can see right now, I'm patched one to one. If you wanted, for example, to play back your USB audio, the easiest thing to do would be to click on USB door, patch one to one, say OK. And now the whole system is patched to 22 inputs coming from your audio interface uh, connection to your computer. And that can be any door, Logic, Pro Tools, anything that you uh, that runs the normal drivers, core audio drivers standard in Mac and AGO WDM drivers in PC land. USB-A again, that's coming from the USB stick when you record channels there. If you go back to the local and I'll patch one to one there, so back to normal. If I click on sound check, that's basically another setup of patching. So if you do uh, if you often change between different patches, for example, from your door playback to your local inputs for recording or for playback of audio from a stick, you can have another setup of patching right here. And you can default that to anything you want in any way you want. And all you need to do is hit activate sound check to run that, to switch that on. And you can save that as well as a setting. It becomes very useful because you don't have to repatch small setup of patches if you wanted one input going to multiple um, multiple channels you could do that and save that in a sound check if you felt like it it's used mostly when you're testing playback of audio into your mixer from a door or from a usba before a live band comes on that's what we use it for often so we go back to my edit channel back to here and again i've selected one input to one output the other section where you can do patching is right in the settings page and under patching as you can see here so that's the other section here where you can have the complete overview and switching sound check on and on now be, please note when you activate sound check you'll get sc up here and sometimes you might wonder to yourself oh what's going on i can't hear anything maybe sound check is on so please check on the top right corner that it's not on 